Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here at the Southern District of New York Courthouse, Wednesday, May 25th, 2022. Now we're gonna start with perhaps the most outrageous case we've followed in a while. We've been covering it from the beginning. Kareem al Karani, working for the United Nations in Iraq and then also brought back to the US, yesterday finally pled guilty to drugging and raping 13 women while working for the United Nations. Now, as you swallow that, as, you, as this sinks in, be aware that the United Nations, which flew him out of Iraq to freedom in New Jersey to do it again, has not said a single word about this case. The guilty plea was announced yesterday, not a word. The U.S. mission to the U.N., which is supposedly committed to keeping the U.N. credible, hasn't said a word. And yesterday, both entities, United Nations spokesman Stefan Dujaric and U.S. U.N. spokesperson Olivia Dalton, declined to respond in any way to inner city press's written questions about U.N. sexual abuse. Now, just by a fluke, the U.S. rapist working for the U.N. was caught. Yesterday, we asked also about one from Cameroon. Do you think Paul Bia, the government of Cameroon, is going to hold them to account since the U.N. won't? No. Disgusting. Now, in other news, we're here at the Southern District of New York covering today the second day of actual evidence in the We Build the Wall trial of Tim Shea. Defense attorney Mary Angelo is saying, uh, you know, guys like me work out of our basement. Actually, it's the seventh floor on Greenwich Street. But he's... That's his shtick, and we'll see how it works for him. Yesterday, we also covered the Tom Barak, a UAE lobbying scandal uh, in EDNY. He's charged with illegally lobbying for the United Arab Emirates. And be aware, the UAE also stole money from Malaysians through one MBD, as did United Nations affiliates, and never, retained, never returned a single penny. But these are the cases that we're following. And um, we're going to stay on the case. In, oh, Honduras news. This is for, for hat, tap, hat tip to Tegucigalpa. Yes, we won a, 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 well, at least a letter last week from Judge Parker that Tigre Bonilla and his lawyer must respond to our request to unseal his financial affidavit. How can a drug trafficker get a publicly paid lawyer? Well, they haven't done it yet, and it's now five days late. We wrote in to be continued.